all you cool cats, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. And I'm gonna talk to uh, these three before we head to the trial ground. What is it? Can't you accept it because you couldn't handle Kiba's destruction anymore? No, that can't be the reason. That's right. Even Kiba said it himself. He'd only be able to withstand the exile's attacks until dawn. What are you trying to pull? Why did you agree to this so easily? No. I can't say for sure, but we can't be distracted by that. That's true. That's true, no matter what he's plotting. And hey, they're ready to end this killing game, right? That's it! Yes, this glass trial. And here we go. Never ever. We're having another class trial. But this will be the final one, right? Okay. Yes, that's right. This will be the final trial. And let me talk to you some movie. I wonder if Kibo is okay. What if they don't do anything weird while they're disarming him? No. I'm sure they won't. If anything happened to Kibo right now, it wouldn't be a fair trial that Monokuma insists on. I see. Oh, I see. Then it's okay for four of us and Kibo. Yeah. By combining the marks of our friendship, we can overcome this final class trial. Hmm. Why are you separating Kibo from the four of us? He's part of our group. You're just trying to sow seeds of doubt. Oh, and normally I, I stand right there and, and talk for a little bit about my thoughts, but I think we all know how I feel how this trial's gonna go. Should be much easier than the others. What? Oh, why? Because up until now we've had to find the culprits among the people in the group during the class trials. That's not gonna happen this time, though. That's why we couldn't work together even if we wanted to. But this time, it's different. Totally different. I see. Oh, since the culprit isn't among us, <laughs> we can work together without any doubt. <laughs> Um, Simuli, so why are you laughing like that? That's not in the script. We're gonna be working together this time. I already feel more at ease. Aww. Oh, and I wish it happened sooner. At the beginning, there were 16 of us. But now there's only four of us standing here, plus Kibo is coming later. Again, why am I... Why am I separating him from us? I don't, I don't really understand. Yeah, I don't really get it either. So depressed. Sorry. Oh, sorry. You're right. Everyone! Thank you for waiting. Kibo! That was fast, Kibo. His weapons have been removed. I suppose we don't have to worry about him attacking. What? What? Are you disappointed? Do you prefer your sci fi gear after all? Well. No, it's not that. Everyone! I'm just. Very sorry. Kibo bowed. Huh? Oh, he got his antenna back on his head. I wonder if that is making him behave a little differently right now. Kibo bowed at the waist to us. <sighs> I acted recklessly and put you all in serious danger. Everyone! I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. What? Huh? What's wrong? You're totally different from before you were in battle mode. Um. <clears throat> Shuichi, you told me earlier not to give up hope. Uh, okay. That's right. I... I finally realized that you were right. My inner voice told me. Hmm. Your inner voice? I thought you said you couldn't hear it anymore. Well, I had the monocubs repair me in addition to removing my battle gear. And now, for some reason, I can hear my inner voice again. So we can hear it again after the repairs. Yeah, that's... that's suspicious. 
And let's be honest here, I'm pretty sure all of the other characters that could have possibly have been the mastermind are either dead or it's just Samugi. It, it's not going to be Kibo. He's clearly being manipulated. It's not going to be Himiko because it just can't be. And I highly doubt it would be Maki at this point. It's, it's got to be her. But it looks like his hair looks like an antenna. Does that mean it wasn't just decoration? Now that I think about it, what is his inner voice exactly? What does he hear? <laughs> I was wrong to try to destroy everything just to avoid losing to despair. Even if I had followed through. Even if I had followed, though, there would have been no hope or future left afterward. In which case, my actions would have merely resulted in a different despair altogether. I do not expect you to forgive me. What I did was foolish. Please. But will you allow me to fight alongside you? I want to help you find the truth. Please. I'm... Of course, Kibo. That's what I've wanted from the start. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been able to do this. <laughs> so, you'll allow me. What? What's with that look? Hmm... I don't... I don't trust you. <laughs> oh, you seem angry, Sumugi. Would you prefer I not help? No, I was, was kind of hoping that we would all, you know, be against you on this at the start of the trial. Just for no reason at all. I'm not mad, I'm just holding myself back. Wait, are you mad that he... He's ruined part of your killing game? I don't un I don't understand why you're mad. What are you gonna say here? When someone says please that strongly, I always want to respond with, but I refuse. Eh? Uh? Is this a reference that I'm not getting? But I can read the mood here, so I'm holding back. Mm -hmm. Well, of course. It's fine. Yeah, come on, Kano. Of course you can fight with us, Kibo. There's a big wall between living things and objects, but you're our friend, Kibo. Everyone! Th thank you. Um, by the way, Maki, I've been meaning to ask you, but... What is that vacuum cleaner you're carrying? I see. It's the bug vac. I think Kichi designed it and had me in it. I see. Ah, uh, yes. Gonta had mentioned something about tiny bugs before. Okay. Bugs with it. it. Doesn't seem like there are any. <sighs> so it really was just Gonta's imagination after all. No. Wait, it might be too soon to determine that. Can we wait until I've examined it with my eyes at least? Do you have like some sort of like microscopic vision or something? Or your eyes? Tell me what you gonna do with um, this. What do you mean, Kibo? You. What good can your eyes do? It's not like you've got good eyesight, right? Yeah. That was true until I installed my zoom function. Huh? Your zoom function? Yes. It was in my lab next to the jetpack and rocket launcher. Thanks to the zoom function, my vision has increased a hundredfold. Huh? What did you say? That's a power-up that goes way past your default settings. But this is the true talent of the ultimate robot. Because I am a robot, I can evolve in ways that are simply not possible for a human. I've finally accepted that. There are notable differences between us, but they're nothing for me to be ashamed of. I also... Because with my talent, it's possible I can save you all. Kibo took the bug pack from Maki and... Leave it to me. It's worth a shot. At maximum zoom, my vision is on par with that of a microscope. Yeah. <laughs> Maki, I'll borrow this bug pack for a moment. He stared at it intensely. I see it. I'll print out this memory. Oh, right. I forgot that he could do that. Wait, what are these things? 
Looks like Monokuma's with... Okay, those look like little bug wings. And it's got something in its hand. Some sort of box in its hand. And it's wearing earmuffs. Kibo printed a picture from right out of his mouth. He took it from his lips and handed it to me. Huh? Oh, it's a it's a video camera. Oh is this Monokuma? Hey. And he's the small bugs Kanto was talking about. Yes. A human's eyes would not be able to see things that exist at a nanoscopic level. Mm -hmm. I don't to have noticed them. His vision really was superhuman. Hey. Hey, what are these things holding? Are they holding cameras? Well then. Why don't we ask them? Huh? We can talk to this? Leave it to me. Yes, I have already installed an augmented hearing function. <gasps> you know what? I just thought of this. Like, because... The thing that I like I'm I'm like bewildered about right now is that like this this killing game has probably gone way off the rails um from what the mastermind had intended. And a lot of it is because uh because of like Kibo's ultimate talent has been really, really useful. And same with Mew. It was a misstep to to have the like uh these and 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 of course Kokichi, but but what I mean is like having the combination of these ultimate talents together was probably not a good idea, uh, especially Kibo here. And then I started thinking, well, like clearly Kibo's being manipulated by that inner voice thing. Maybe when he doesn't have the antenna, that's just how he normally is, like how he should be. Like an actual robot, but like the antenna is like, like coding in some sort of like, be more human, be less robot, we want to be more human. Maybe like, it's it's that level of like brainwashing and that's what keeps him in check most of the time. I'm wondering if that's what happened. Yes, I have already installed an augmented hearing function. What was that? I guess anything is possible. Start talking now, or I'll squish you one by one. <laughs> Whatever function you serve, you'll be unable to carry it out. Do you accept these terms? Keep asked in a way that made it clear it was not up for negotiation. <laughs> they call themselves nanocons. Oh. Members of the monocons. What? This little thing? And there were actually six monocups? Uh, more than six. Not quite. These don't exist as individuals, but rather as a hive mind. Yeah. They travel through the air in a swarm, covering every square inch of this campus. So it's not just one, it's a whole swarm of monocups. If they're that small, they could have been in my nose or mouth, and I'd never know. Yeah, that's what I, was. <laughs> I don't like the thought of that. And their function is to record footage of the events that are unfolding here and transmit it to Monokuma. What? Using their tiny cameras, they record footage and transmit it wirelessly. Mother Kuma receives the footage and parses it before sending it off to Monokuma. You mean, like a security camera? with the naked eye. Also, if Mother Kuma needs to parse the information, that means right now Monokuma doesn't know what's going on because Mother Kuma is broken. Monokuma, Mother Kuma is uh, gone. <laughs> it must be the security cameras. The six monocup has been added to the truth bullet section of your monocup. So there were security cameras after all. Hey. We have been recording footage wirelessly. Makichi was correct to use the electro bomb. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he had the same thinking as I did that 
with these bugs that Gonto was seeing, but like was was unable to like interact with um that they were up to something. Maybe he wasn't sure if the bugs were like actually there, but I'm sure disabling the security cameras in that exocile hangar was probably a, a good idea with the electro bomb. That punk. And he used a banana cameras when I was able to send any footage back to Monica. You're right. Yes, in that case, I doubt my thing I knew real cold. Uh, uh, the more I learn, the more I wish that this kid she had worked with us normally. Not really. I'm glad he's dead. But that's impossible. No matter how many times he reincarnates, he's a liar down to his soul. I would have imagined that the sixth Monica would be security cameras. That's how Monacum was able to keep watch of this entire academy. He's toying with us. Also, now that now that we know that these are security cameras, I don't think they're just security cameras. These these look like <laughs> they almost look like the, the cameras that you would be using if you were like filming something for like a, a large audience and so now I really agree with Kokichi's assessment that I'm willing to bet that this is this is being transmitted to the world and not only that but due to that little scene with the boy with the the, the phone talking at it and, and basically cheering whoever on on the other side of the phone that to me Makes me think that this is like some sort of like reality TV killing show game or something. Or like maybe it's like, I don't know, some some deep web sort of entertainment show. I don't know why a little kid would be watching it or something like that. Maybe people think it's staged or whatever, but it's, it's this is legit real, so. And... I'm also guessing this because Rantaro was a survivor, right? And I'm going to guess that his survivor perk basically got him in the, into this killing game. Because he said you wanted this. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing he must... Maybe he had, like, a decision to make? Like, between... Between, like... Like, coming to this and doing something that he considered the worst alternative or whatever. Or maybe he had to make some sort of bet that he had to win this killing game to end it or something. I don't... I don't freaking know. Or maybe... Maybe he was supposed to grab... Maybe he was supposed to, like, actually leave the killing game. But he wanted back in so that way he could put a stop to it. And he got to have a survivor perk for that. Like, he wanted to put, like, a true stop to it or something. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm assuming that this is, this is a multiple, this is a multiple running killing game. I don't know if we're like two in or, or whatever, but I'm guessing that this is, this is like some sort of TV show for people or some sort of weird entertainment. He's toying with us. He's not just confident, he's sure he's gonna win. You know that must be what he's thinking. Oh yeah. At least we know that important detail now. I'm glad you told us before the flash Thank trial. you! Yeah, thanks, Kibo! You jerk! By the way... You're welcome, but we should get going now. That's true. Yeah, we don't know what Monokuma will do if he shows up late. That's fine. You're right. Well, let's start heading to the trial grounds. Okay. Okay. Alright. What do you have to say? The movie show, Donnie. To this guy, reader, Kokichi made the design. You built the device. It's all because of that. That Kido was able to find the final clue. It's almost like everyone's cheering us on. You know, all beyond the grave, they're all cheering for us. All five of us to succeed at this killing game and be Monokuma. It'll be great. Oh, please stop suspecting me. In the end, we couldn't find the mastermind. They must be really good at hide and seek. They can't escape my magic. We my magic. I'll hit them with my. All your relationships will end up being a love triangle's curse. 
<laughs> would be very helpful, Himiko. It's okay. Relax. When the family when it comes time for me to kill you, I'll make sure to end your life swift. So you won't have to suffer. Thank you. Thank you. I... I'm glad I was able to help. I wouldn't want you to think my sci-fi weaponry is the only growth I've displayed thus far. Well then, let's go. Monokuma is expecting us. Destroyed Ultimate Academy behind us. We're headed to the final trial grounds. Wow, there's like none of us left. <clears throat> Carrying the last of the survivors, the elevator brought us down. Wow, we're really gonna end this with only four people making out of this killing game? I did not see that coming, to be honest. What could be waiting for the five of us? I'm sure this is the end of despair and the beginning of hope. Everything ends here. Everything. The Killing Game of Hope's Peak Academy, the Killing Game of Jabberwock Island, and the Killing Game of the Ultimate Academy. How much more until they're satisfied? This is the end of it. I'm tired of this. We're going to end it. We're going to end this cruel game. Class trial of the century. Achievement unlocked. So this is the final trial grounds. <laughs> it's not up for you or me to decide whether or not this is the end. Huh? What do you mean? Is it... What, it's up to Samugi or something? What do you mean? Well, well. More importantly, since you guys requested that we hold this class trial, I'm sure you won't mind allowing me to participate too, right? Right. It'll be easier to argue if I do. That's true. True, I was going to have you participate this time, but I didn't think you'd volunteer. What is it? You seem confident. <laughs> With my magic. You're confident now, but I'm gonna turn your body into an omnibus with my magic. Actually, an omnibus? Do you mean like a vehicle or like a compilation book or? Knock, Knock it off! I won't be provoked by your cheap threats. Uh, he seems really provoked. Yeah, but if Bob's is gonna participate, things are gonna get pretty damn interesting. Father! You can do it, Father. Get a rock hard rager! We'll cheer you on until our voices are hoarse and bleeding. Right, Mono Dam? That's wonderful. This is beautiful. How stupid. Hmm? Cheer me on? You guys are totally participating, too. <laughs> what? <laughs> you kids have a pivotal role to play. What kind of dad would I be if I hogged the spotlight? And if you kids don't play a pivotal role, then what use are any of you? Seriously? Um... P pivotal role? Can we really do it? Hmm... Well, I don't know. <laughs> Looking <laughs> forward to it! Don't worry. As a good parent, I will do my damnness to motivate you. Well then. With this button. What? What's that button for? It's a monocup dinner that I prepared to ensure my adorable kids do their very best. <gasps> detonator. Yeah. Yep, with a push of this button, I'll detonate the bombs inside of each of your bodies. So make sure you try really hard. I'll start pressing this button. Got it? Hey. 
That's too far. Here. You know what they say. If your kids are cute, put a bomb inside of them. You stupid. Th that's not a real saying. Cause. I know you cute kids can do this. You just need the proper motivation. So don't... So don't need to worry. Just make sure you all play pivotal roles. That's all. <laughs> oh dear. How absurd. I knew it. You really are the worst. I'm the best at being the worst, don't you think so? <laughs> I tell you, people can't get enough of my crude antics. Now then. Alright, let's get started. Let's get this crude climax underway. Kibo and the Exiles have turned the Academy into a war zone, and Shuichi challenges Monokuma to a final class trial. Can they put an end to the killing game? That's right, I didn't have enough time to hang out with anybody to unlock any more skills. I just gotta go in this. Alright, goodbye Danganronpa. Class trial in session. Are any of us standing near each other? I guess not. I'd like to begin by asking Shuichi a question. Since this class trial was his idea, what exactly is the point of this class trial? It's gonna prove Kaede's innocence, that's what it is. Yeah! Why are we having a class trial if no one died? Whoa! My voice was way louder than I expected. I might be on a roll today. Hey, I'm no slouch of being a loud mouth either. That's for sure. <laughs> Monodem's voice is super soft, though. Everyone cool with him getting blown up? You said that the killing game would end if you exposed the truth at the class trial. So, you bastards, what is the purpose <laughs> of this class trial? That's a good question! But his voice was quiet. Does Mars volume not matter at all? The purpose of this class trial. All right, I'll give you an answer. The reason I called for this trial is... To retry a past case. Yes! That's it! <clears throat> I wish to retry a past case. Trial? For which case? For which case? One, oh, that's a good question. Mommy, I've found new evidence relevant to the case. Oh, which case? I have no idea. Oh my god. In light of that evidence, I demand a retrial. What's the point of a retrial? The result of the first class trial has already been settled. Because you ruled in a way that breaks the entire game. Honestly, we should all be dead right now because because the true killer got away with it. All for entertainment, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. What if our vote was wrong? Yes, wrong. When it comes with the blackened for that incident was Kaede. Are you saying he was wrong? Whoa, 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 what? Monokin, your reactions are too extreme. It's making the rest of us look bad. Oh shit, he's already got the detonator. To test the validity of our vote, we're going to retry the entire case. If Monokuma was wrong, the validity of these trials would be in question. The entire killing game wouldn't make sense anymore. I see. You think you can destroy the game by calling out my failure as the game master. Oh. You shouldn't have a problem with this if you have nothing to hide, Monokuma. 
So in the end, the first pace has become the focal point yet again. What a twist. What an interesting twist. Okay, let's do this. So what is this new truth? There are several. But before we go any further, I want to discuss Rantaro's talent. Okay. <clears throat> Did you learn what his talent was? Yeah, he's the ultimate survivor. Was he the ultimate survivor before he won? He won the um, killing game he was in? Rantaro's ultimate talent was a mystery, but now I know. Rantaro's ultimate talent was the ultimate survivor. That's it. He was the ultimate survivor. Ultimate survivor? I saw it too. He said so in his video. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. That's why you get this perk. The survival perk. Rantaro became the ultimate survivor after surviving a past killing game. After his memory was wiped, he participated in the killing game once again. So this wasn't Rantaro's first killing game? Oh, don't act like you don't know! Why did he participate in a second killing game? I can only imagine he had the determination to basically end the killing game. I'm not sure yet. But after I learned that Rantaro was the ultimate survivor, I deduced his objective. Rantaro's objective? End the killing game. The reason he went to the library before he was killed, and why he knew about the hidden door. Didn't he just happen to randomly notice the hidden door? <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I thought at the time. But it appears that assumption was false. No way! There's no way he randomly came across that door! He left to go collect someone from the, uh... He, he left... He left the room they were all waiting for, um... <clears throat> Gonta in. And then just randomly went into the library while that was going down? No. No. No! There was an actual reason Rantaro knew about the door. I don't remember the exact specifics on how he left the room or whatever, but he didn't just, he didn't just like randomly decide, oh, you know what? I'm going to go investigate the library while we're all gathered here. No. Yes, that reason is the survivor perk. That's it. Rantaro was given this monopad as a kind of survivor perk. It has a map of the entire academy, including areas that have not yet been unlocked. Of course, that includes the hidden room. To think Rantaro was given that as a survivor perk. They found out about the hidden room with this map? The monopad also contained a video Rantaro recorded for himself. If the Mastermind ever needed a spare Monokuma, <clears throat> he would head to the hidden room. Well, he said a video he had recorded for himself. That's not necessarily the video. The video he recorded was up in his ultimate lab. His monopad didn't have that. Or if it did, the game didn't tell me. The message was what inspired him to go to the library to investigate the hidden room. A time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by nighttime two days from now, then every student forced to participate in this killing game will die. Huh, every student forced to participate in this killing game would die. You know, Rintaro wasn't forced. He just kind of, you know, he. it sounds like he agreed to it. But, you know, Samugi obviously isn't forced either. 
which means like they would have probably and then the rest of them the rest of them would be forced mauled to shreds by countless monokumas from the rumored monokuma making machine the mastermind would have gone to that room to mass produce monokuma once time ran out oh so monokuma and samugi plotted plotted this to get rantaro to 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 act so in order to figure out who the mastermind was Rantaro went to the hidden room at the back of the library just before time ran out. That's right. Rantaro must have come to the same conclusion that Kaede and I did. It sure is ironic that the ultimate survivor died because of Kaede's trap. But if Rantaro had a clue like that, why didn't he come to us with it? I mean, he was warned to not. Probably because... When he recorded himself, he knew that one of the people in the killing game was going to be the mastermind. And he didn't want to and he didn't wanna like let them know that he was well no. Wouldn't the mastermind already know? I don't know. Is there a reason to not bother trusting everyone? Hmm, that's a good question. I assume because he didn't trust us. The killing game had just started after all. What he said in his video message certainly didn't help either. Only share this information with people you know you can trust. How you determine that will mean your life or death. See, the thing is, is I'm guessing that Samugi slash Monokuma who slash whatever had, had read this. So it kind of made it pointless to tell him to n share it with only the people he trusts. They already know. The only thing you're doing is is keeping other people out of the, the loop. Hmm. He told himself to only share this information with people he could trust. He did ask you everyone about the ultimate hunt. This message, right? That means he must have had trouble believing it as well. It was probably confusing to him too. That's why he didn't consult us. Why the long face? It's nothing. I figure no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... Can I even trust myself? Yeah, he did say that. But he did also... He could trust that video, or trust us, or even trust himself. He, he did ask if anybody else remembered the ultimate hunt. I, I, I don't know if that was him just trying to verify that the, the contents were real. <clears throat> I had thought initially that he had like some memories, but he didn't have memories. He was just verifying what, what he read. He must have been so lost. But with the time limit approaching, he decided to take a chance. That would be... <laughs> you know what, though? This was... <laughs> Rantaro didn't really think this through. I would have been a little more than just a little suspicious about the fact that that uh, Monokuma made this announcement because it was like, well, yeah, of course, someone's going to go in there. But the thing is, it's like that's that like if you if you're not sure if you can trust yourself slash trust like you know whatever's going on by following along with this, he kind of set himself up to get murdered. He should have. I, I know this sounds stupid for me to, to complain about him doing this, but he would have been much safer going to someone, anyone, or even two people, you know? You know, pick, pick, pick them at random. Um, and then you'd have backup for this. 
and he seemed like he he wasn't opposed to Kaede or or Shuichi. So so why didn't he just? Oh God, I don't know. He got himself killed by by not by not using his uh his clue properly because this would have been suspicious. There's no need for that, because I'm going to end this game. I've already decided. You're going to end this game? It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Can you even accomplish such a feat? I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. So he went to the library alone, without telling anyone. And then he got killed by Kaede's trap. No. The only people who knew about the hidden door at that time were Rantaro and I. I had Kaede with me, and I thought I could trust her. So I told her about the hidden room. But that was the difference between me and Rantaro, I suppose. I had Kaede. And Kaede's the one who killed him! Oh, you lying SOB. What a snake! No! No! We're gonna prove them wrong, Shuichi! Just you and me! Hey, so what are you guys talking about? Is this something I forgot? I don't know anything about what they're saying! Is this something that transpired before we were born? So what's your point? You know who Rantaro was and why he did what he did! But it's pointless now, isn't it? No. No, it's not pointless. Now that we know this new information, if we look back at Rantaro's case, we can find a new truth that we missed at the time. A new truth? I don't really get it, but we just need to look at Rantaro's case again, right? Then let's do it. Yes, let's do this together. My last magical powers I'll turn Monokuma into an omnibus. I don't really get that either, but I guess we're gonna republish Monokuma. Not too sure either. The real battle is just beginning. We'll prove that the result was wrong. Corner the mastermind together. <clears throat> oh, we are really separated from each other. Well. Me and Kiba are kind of close together. Rantaro went to the library. Okay. Just before Monokuma's time limit was That's right. Using the information provided by the survivor group, he made his way to the hidden door. Yeah. To expose the identity of the mastermind. Yeah. But before he could achieve that goal, he got hit in the head with a shot football and died. Because of Kaede's fully automatic killing machine! Eh? Fully automatic? There was no culprit at the scene. The only one in the library at the time of the murder was Rantaro himself! Okay, that's... that's the wrong one. That's a fact, right? Okay, it's, it's going to be the hidden door in the library. Arrow! No, that's not it. I was wrong. I thought, okay, I thought it was going to be the hidden door. I don't. Where's, where's? I'm missing. Just before the incident. I'm missing whatever the results are here. Oh my god, that was it? Ah, whatever. No, Rantaro was not the only one in the library at the time the murder occurred. I'm so dumb. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I'm dumb. This survivor perk monopad is proof of that. Why would that monopad be evidence? The monopad was given exclusively to Rantaro as his survivor for it, correct? Yeah. <clears throat> but when we searched Rantaro's body, he didn't have it on his person. He had a clean one. 
He only had his student handbook monopad. Oh, they're two different monopads. For all this time, I thought that it was the same monopad. Which means that someone took this monopad from Rantaro after the murder. That's very wrong! Wow! That's what we've been saying! What? Uh, keep quiet, will you? I don't have time for your nonsense right now. Really? They have no clue what anyone is talking about. If we don't chime in soon, Pops is gonna push the detonator. Then we better not let these fucking chumps run their maps anymore! Okay, what is it? What are my options? Uh... A probably a hidden door. Disgusting. You should watch it right away! That's not a real rebuttal! Someone stole the survivor perk! Where's the proof? Way, there's a bloody thief! But remember, Rantaro brought the Survivor Perk Monopad to the library. If it's missing now, that must mean someone stole it. He brought that Monopad to the library? I think there's maybe no way that's possible. All he had on him was the Student Handbook Monopad! He didn't bring the Survivor Perk with him! Oh no! He didn't bring the survivor perk with him! You cannot assert it was stolen. Yep, yep, that's right! Okay. Cannot assert that it was stolen. He brought that monopad to the library? I think there's maybe no way that's possible. All he had on him was the student handbook monopad! He didn't bring the survivor perk with him! What? I was he got the monopad to the library? There's maybe no way that's possible. Oh no, that's well, it's the picture. The he didn't bring the survivor perk with him. It, it's the picture. I'll cut through your <clears throat> wounds. Oh. I'm doing terrible no, this time. There's no doubt Rantaro brought the survivor perk monopad to the library. The picture taken just before he died clearly shows him holding it. Here's student handbook monopad, bro. You fucking know. Yeah, but this one has blood on it. No, it is definitely the same monopad. You see the way the blood is dried here? The outline of his fingers matches how he was holding it in the picture. Oh, you're right. Shortly after this photo was taken, Rantaro was struck in the head by the shot put ball. Do you think that's when this bloody outline on the monopad was formed? I do. That's why the monopad Rantaro is holding in this picture. It has to be the same monopad we have now. What? Come on, no overreacting! It makes us look like we're not paying attention! Scream all you want! Monoske's the one that's gonna get blown up! <laughs> Wah! Mono kid! <laughs> I was so upset my cute cubs lost that my finger slipped. But those were some pretty fireworks. Even in death, my <laughs> kid's a real cutie. I hear lions push their cubs into bottomless ravines to kill them. They won't kill them. So there was a thief, huh? I can't believe someone would do something so evil. So who took the monopad? Do you know anything else? Do we know anything about the person who took Rantaro's monopad? Yes, I think we do. Let's get the facts straight and think. Is this a psych taxi? Yeah. How many monopads did Rantaro have in the library? His own and the. I'm guessing two. One was a bit. I actually rewatched the footage and 
it looked like Shuichi searched Rantaro's body to get the regular one. Which monopad was taken away? The survivor one. The survivor one. Where was that monopod taken to? To the, I don't know, the spare room? Hidden time. Uh, oh, hidden room, hidden room, hidden room. I, wasn't, I don't know what it was called. Oh my god, I keep missing these orbs. You have no idea. How frustrating it is when they just zoom off the screen like that. Who can enter the hidden room? Uh, the mastermind? Card key holder? Yeah. Ah, the mastermind, the mastermind. Took that monopath is the mastermind. I'm sure of it. Okay. The mastermind. The survivor perk monopad was found in the library's hidden room. Mastermind would have been able to enter that room, correct? Between okay. the time Rantaro died and when we found him, we put that monopad in the hidden room? No! That's impossible! Impossible? Impossible? Why? Huh? You don't know? Why, even my cute little cubs have already figured it out! I doubt that. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you get so I'll let Monotaro explain. Huh? Mm -hmm. I've already forgotten what we're even talking about. Two. Oh, crap! He's gonna push it! It's gonna be Monokin all over again! The Mastermind is not in any of the photos taken in the library. Why is that? Huh? Oh, that's true. <clears throat> in order to get to the hidden room, you need to make the bookcase, right? The bookcase didn't close, so that camera didn't get triggered again. Rentaro shut off the camera that he was moving towards. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, shut, he managed to shut that one off, right? I'm guessing? Yeah. And no one needs to worry about the one pointed at the front. But Shuichi and Kaede set up those hidden cameras, so... If the Mastermind was using that door, they would have been caught on camera. But none of the pictures showed anyone like that. Then, that reasoning is wrong. Amazing, Monodon! Well done! Hold on. The hidden cameras in the library had interval timers. Oh, that's right. They had interval timers. I forgot about that. I forget how many seconds it was, though. Like, um, 30 seconds? Okay. I was thinking like a minute or 30. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. Because I just redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. Perhaps the mastermind worked within that 30 second interval? I see. So the mastermind hid in the hidden room, waited for the right timing, grabbed the monopad from the library, and then returned to the hidden room. Hold on! There's a flaw in your logic. What? What flaw? Huh? Don't ask me! The mono cubs are gonna explain it! What? Again? Just 
switch your logic without explaining why. That's the Monokuma debate style. Take it from here, Mono Cubs. And you better use your brains or I'll kill ya. Okay. Uh, what are we arguing about again? The, the hidden camera! Isn't it weird that the mastermind's not in any photos? Unless they use the interval between shots. Okay. The camera has a 30 second interval between shots. That's enough time to take the monopad from the body. Then where was the mastermind hiding? In the hidden room, of course! If they were still inside the hidden room, would they know what was happening? Yes. Oh. This is it. That's wrong. <laughs> Some Moogie's face was zoomed in there. The mastermind saw what was happening in the library. They had surveillance cameras. Surveillance cameras. What? Where would something like that be? You don't know? Even though they're monocubs just like you? Monocubs? I mean these. Oh, so cute and tiny! Aren't they? They're your siblings too! That's a big reveal to drop so casually. <laughs> are called nanokumas. Their job is to monitor the campus. How do you know that? Oh, father told me. He said to make sure I told everyone. Okay. <laughs> I had completely forgotten about it. Good thing I just remembered. Dumbass! You remembered too late! There are countless nanokumas buzzing all over the campus. All the footage they record is wirelessly transmitted through Mother Kuma, and then sent to Monokuma. Yes, via Mother Kuma. That's an important point. Okay. If Mother Kuma receives the camera feeds, the Mastermind could ask it anything. They would know about the situation in the library and the hidden room. I see. Mother Kuma can tell them the interval timers for the cameras. Then the Mastermind was in the hidden room after they stole the monopad from Rantaro. But why would they steal the monopad? Um, what, what all was on the monopad? <laughs> Maybe because it says that the Mastermind is, is in the ca academy? That's the only thing that it says the mastermind was probably terrified by the idea of us picking up rantaro's perk no that's wrong what i wasn't necessarily afraid the survivor perk was for rantaro's eyes only sure he could have shared the info with you but that's not the same as getting the info directly from the monopad okay because then, you can't say it was a survivor perk for Rantaro's eyes only, right? So when he died, I took it back. That's all. I don't know about that. Hmm. How do you figure? You were calm now. But at the time, you must have been pretty desperate. The monopath clearly stated that there was a mastermind in the academy. Yeah. If we knew then that a mastermind was behind everything, we would have worked together. But you couldn't let that happen. You needed us to go after each other. Either way, you admit the mastermind stole the monopath, right? Well, yes, but only reluctantly. Then the mastermind messed up. If they wanted to retrieve the monopad, they should have used Monokuma to do it. Is there a reason that Samuki can't order Monokuma? No, nope, that's impossible. The rules state I can't participate in a murder, which includes tampering with the crime scene. This 
own rules. If you're so strict about following the rules, does that mean that someone is watching? If that's the case... Still, what a waste of a survivor perk! If only he lived a little longer, then this info would make <clears throat> things interesting! He's trying to distract us. Yeah. Stop changing the subject! <laughs> don't have the whole picture, but it seems like we're all being watched. In that case, this plan should go well. If I ruin this cool killing game by proving that it doesn't follow its own rules, I should be able to end the whole thing. But the point of this class trial is to discuss Rantaro's case, right? The mastermind stealing his survivor perk shouldn't affect it whatsoever! Um... Yeah, it does. In the end, Kaede killed him. There's no shaking off that truth. Yeah, yeah. One truth prevails. No, that's not the truth. I'm certain of that. It's a lie that you made up. Me? Why? That's right. Kaede wasn't the one who killed Rantaro. The true culprit is... Mastermind. That's it! The Mastermind controlling Monokuma! They're the one who killed Rantaro! The Mastermind is the culprit? Oh, you better start freaking out now! I'm on you! Jeez, can you call yourself the ultimate detective? Trying to overturn the results of the first class trial! What do, you, what do we got? Uh, shot put ball. Rantaro's killer is the mastermind. That means Kaede was the mastermind. Can you prove the mastermind is the culprit? Yeah, got any evidence? You want evidence Kaede is the culprit? The shot put ball at the murder scene. No. She used the camera flash to lure Rantaro in, and then cracked his skull with a shot put ball. Yep, yep, Kaiji set up the whole thing. She did. Even the lethal shot put ball. Kaiji had it all along. See, Kaiji's the mastermind after all. Okay, so was it hers? Why so in dead people? Make a little cold, make? Okay, so it, it was probably, uh... What the hell? The whole thing. Mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. shot put the one after Kaiji. this one. Oh, no. The most important fact we discovered during the investigation is this. The shot put ball that Rantaro was killed with was different than the one created. What'd you say? I have no idea what's going on. Different shot put ball? What do you mean? I found a shot put ball in the trash can in the hidden room. But it was not the murder weapon. That shot put ball didn't have any blood on it. Rather, there was a pink fiber stuck to that shot. Pink fiber? So what? Do you remember how Kaede was carrying the shot put ball? Oh, she was carrying it in her backpack. Kaede's backpack. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it could have been easy to carry in a backpack. I noticed you also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. Oh, the vest is what she wrapped it in. Durr! That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. I see. She had it in her backpack. It was wrapped in her spare vest. Her pink vest. I see. The shot put ball you found in the hidden room had a pink fiber on it. Yes, it's a fiber from her vest. That can only mean that the ball I found was the one that was in Kaede's backpack. When you 
say? Really, I got no idea what you're talking about. That shot put ball did not have blood on it, so it could not have been the murder weapon. In short, the shot that Kaede used didn't hit Rantaro. Maybe they just washed off the blood. Uh, that would have washed off the fiber, you dumb... You dumb dumb? If so, the fiber on the shot put ball <laughs> would have been washed off as well. Right? It's clear to me that the real murder weapon is different than the shot Kaede had. Yes, Kaede set up the bookcase and rolled the shot into the vent. But that shot didn't hit Rantaro. Her plan failed. Failed? I don't even know what that means! If you found that shot put ball in the hidden room, then that means... Found the shot put ball in the hidden room because... The mastermind took it. That's it! The mastermind took it from the library. Only they could get in that room, after all. The Mastermind took it? Yeah? So they recovered the shot that missed Rantaro, and he was killed by a different one. Rantaro was killed by the Mastermind, who made it look like Kaede was the culprit. Can I just say that, like, everybody else is engaging in this conversation except for Sumugi, who's just, like, going, Burr, nerp, nerp. I have no idea. This is she's got the lamest defense ever. That required a bit of trickery on the mastermind's part. They prepared their own shot to kill Rantaro and switched it with Kaede's shot. So why'd they prepare one? Is it because Well, they must have known that Kaede's was going to like she was gonna do that. And I guess maybe they prepared a backup one in case she failed? They took Kaede's shot put ball and stowed it in the hidden room. To put it simply, Kaede didn't kill Rantaro. It was the mastermind. What? Did you? What? Monodum, why? Whoops! I got too worked up and accidentally pressed the detonator! <laughs> the Mastermind killed Rantaro? But why? To get the killing game started, I assume, and to also get rid of Rantaro. Because he was a nuisance. <laughs> I believe the reason had something to do with a time limit motive. A time limit is now in effect! If a murder does not occur by nighttime, two days from now, then every student forced to participate in this killing game will die. Kaede was keeping us all together, and we refused to kill each other. To break up the stalemate, the mastermind introduced that motive. However, this was a gamble. They didn't want to cause total chaos, after all. Because that would just end everything. They wanted an exciting killing game. That motive put pressure on the Mastermind, as well as us. Yes, Kaede had a plan to kill the Mastermind, but Rantaro was caught in the trap. However, her plan ultimately failed. The shot put ball that she rolled didn't hit Rantaro. Because it missed, we would have been annihilated due to the time limit. But the Mastermind wanted to avoid that situation, so they took action. Thanks to the Nanokumas, the Mastermind would have known Kaede's intended murder weapon. So when her plan failed, they would already have another shot put ball prepared. Then, the Mastermind manipulated the scene to make it look like Kaede succeeded. I'm so mad that our girl died. I'm so mad. I'm mad for you, Shuichi. All they had to do was hide Kaede's shot in the hidden room that only they could enter. So, Kaede was executed on false charges? Yes. Yes, she was. She didn't actually kill anyone. I mean, she did try to. But she was executed nonetheless. I mean, the... the... Attempted murder, yes, but, but failed murder. 
because the mastermind framed her for Antaro's murder. Oh. And Monokuma played along. He let us believe the mastermind's lie. We were all fooled, including Kaede. We thought she was the culprit until the very end. She wasn't. And you want to tell us this game is fair? That there are rules? That's all bullshit! I agree. This game makes no sense at all. 